Hey, what's going on, everybody? That is a wrap for the team here on phase one of the Tarpon River Foil Cat Catamaran build. Now, I know that's a mouthful for you guys, but trust me, give them a follow, check it out. They've got a lot of really cool stuff going on in this build, as you can kind of see behind me. It's all still kind of torn apart, but we've got a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna show you guys going into this console. First of all, this console is huge, and there's some extra tricks tucked up its sleeve that we can't quite show you everything yet, but we've got our Vesper Cortex mounted, our GSD26, so we can run a B175 high and a B175 low. We've got our Connect 50s. We've got a total of four of those going on right there. We've got our radar power module. We've got our WDU for our Empire bus. We've got our Garmin on deck. We've got some network hubs and our GXM54 module. So we've got all that really clean, easy to get access to uh, when we go in there to wire this all up once everything is put inside that mold right there we're talking about how big this thing is guys this is a 34 foot catamaran but look at this console that is three of the 86 16s and there's a ton of room in there and then we've got the helm seat right there rather the the leaning post if you will right here and we're going to do three across lebrock seating todd he's chose a really cool upholstery finish for those seats really going to pop. I can't wait to show you guys that when we come back down. So we've got that going on. We're going to have a big, uh, you can see right here actually, this guy is getting mounted down in there. So we have really big access on the uh, front area there for all the lithium batteries from Seastone Marine, getting those put in. We're going to do, I think, eh, 10 or 12 inch sub there. And then we've got tackle uh, access and then we're going to have more access back here. So we've got all of that going on. Also, with all of that going on, we were able to work on the hardtop. It's still split into two. So before this gets covered up in paint and kind of hidden away, I want to show you guys this beautiful carbon fiber, nice lightweight hardtop. As you can see right here, we've already gone ahead and cut out here and here. That is for a pair of the Fusion Signature 8 eight speakers we have our lumashore lux down lighting and see it's kind of the mesh lighting there or uh, the no glare lighting we're going to show you guys that once it's all said and done why we went with those lights and we make our way to the back back here on this back bump out we have a pair of the fusion 77s and we've got an additional pair of the lumashore uh no glare lighting so another cool feature that we have worked with Todd and Tarpon River on in this design. On this hardtop straight from the get-go is, we have a nice recessed channel, as you can kind of see right here, and that is for the neon flex lighting. Now, I know a lot of builders out there are starting to put this neon flex lighting into a hardtop, but I think almost everybody is going predominantly single color. This is going to be full color tunable RGB neon flex lighting running through this whole thing. So that's gonna be a really cool, neat feature to make this thing stand out. We're also going to be doing neon flex under the leaning post and of course under the gunnels so we've got all that speaking of the other things we've got the top side here of our hard top and again carbon fiber going to get covered in paint so i want to show you guys we've got these really nice soft patches right here so we're going to have access this is right over where those speakers are we've drilled our hole right there that is for our garmin sat compass so that's going to get mounted back there there's going to be an optimus c station mounted in front of that and then the radar and then you can see we've got a nice landing pad for our outriggers. And then for our VHF antennas, we've gone ahead and we've got nut certs in there if you take, and take a look. So the nice feature with those are there's not going to be any nut or bolt or any hardware on the bottom side. So it's just going to give it a really nice, clean look. And again, we've got soft patches here. So if we need to get access underneath there for the radar, we're going to land our scan struts here for our VHF antennas. We've got our GXM 54 sat uh, weather antenna there. And we've got a pair of the GA38s because you need one for an on-deck hub. And we also need one for the Vesper AIS Class B. So it's a lot of stuff going on. Guys have been really hard at work. Uh, they really stepped up and worked with what was given to them here. And um, we're going to be back for part two here. And uh, in the meantime, like I said, give Tarpon River Foil Cat a follow. They've got some really cool stuff going on. This is a really neat boat. Cannot wait to show you guys the finished product as we come back down here and plug everything in and light things up and turn the stereo on and get the boat out in the water and throw the drone up and get those really cool sunset shots with all the Luma Shore lighting that you guys have come to know us for. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. There's going to be a lot more on this build coming up real soon. Peace.